Alright guys, welcome back. So in this video, first of all, let's just start getting rid of these errors that we got in here from the last video. So the first one I want to get rid of is this one in here on the top that it says uncaught type error for bootstrap and jQuery. So if I'm going in here into my index.js, where was it? Or index.html. This is where we connected our um, bootstrap. So I actually don't need this script in here for using some jQuery. I only need the first link to connect the CSS of bootstrap. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of it. And now, as you guys can see in here on the right side, that error is completely gone. Now this one is gone. Let's just focus on this one. This one in here is telling us that on our app.js, inside of our use effect hook, we can't actually use an async in here on the function itself. So the best thing to do in here, it will be to create an outside function and then just call it inside of here of the use effect hook. So let's do that. I'm going to create a new function called maybe fetch data. So const fetch data is going to be equals to an arrow function. And now what I want to do in here is running this command in here of the axios. Okay, so I'm going to do this one in here. I'm going to do const result. I'm actually going to copy all of these line. Okay. And now I can actually put in here the async and then I can use in here the await. Okay, let's also put this console.log just under here. Okay, like this. Now inside of these use effect, I'm going to delete everything in there and I'm going to get rid of this async because this is not the correct place. Now inside of this use effect, I can actually call this function in there. Okay. So to call a function, I just need to put the parentheses and that's it. And as you guys can see in here, everything now is completely gone from those errors that we got from before. So as you guys can see, we got in here on this line 14 of the app.js. This is the result that we are grabbing from our API. Okay, the actual joke. So in here it says all state is in good hands with Chuck Norris. Okay, this is the, the joke. If you refresh the page, you might be able to see another one. Look, when Chuck Norris speaks French, it doesn't sound gay. Something like this. So now what we could do is um, we could actually display these kind of jokes in here inside of the actual uh, page. So let's go in here. What we want to do is create a state. Okay. So remember we are using uh, react hooks. So we're going to create the state a little bit different from the state on class components. So in here, I'm going to create a state. So I'm going to put in here these arrows these square brackets, sorry. And first I'm going to call the name of my state. The name could be anything that I want, but I want to call it state. Okay. And then the second value inside of this array in here is going to be the function that you want to use when you want to update your state. So I'm going to call it set state. Okay, I'm going to use a function called set state whenever I want to update my state. I'm going to use the use state hook. Let me just put in here use state just like this. Okay, look, even gives me like the complete thing in here. So let me just delete this. So use state, you actually need to grab this hook in here and just import it on the top. Just next to the use effect, we're going to put a comma and put in here the use state hook. And inside of here is going to be the value that you want your initial state to have. Okay. So I'm going to put in here this as an object and I'm going to put in here the joke. Okay. The joke initially is not going to be nothing. Okay. Now that I got this joke from the state, if I want to access this, I can do state dot joke. Okay. So when I run this function, look, we got a function in here that it's called when we load the page for the first time. Okay. We are calling this function. 
So what you want to do is, after you run this and you are grabbing this result, what you actually want to do is run this function of the set state. And now what you want to do in here is, okay, you want to update the state that was there from before. So you're going to do state, okay? If you guys don't remember these three dots in here, it's the spread operator. So basically the spread operator is going to this object in here, state, okay? This is the initial value. When you do these three dots, you are just saying, okay, let's grab all the values that was there from before. Let's grab this object, okay? And now I can, if I want, just update something from it. I want to update the part that is the joke. And this part that I want to put the value in, the value is going to be the result.data.value. Okay. Now we are updating the state with this. First of all, let's just see if this will work fine. So we will put it in here. Where is it? If you scroll down, this is going to be the joke, okay, on the H4. Let's delete this. And now I could put in here state. Remember, this is the state that we created there on the top, dot joke, okay? Let's see if this is working. So I got in here on my app.js19, Chuck Norris endorsed Ted Cruz for something, look. And here it is again. If I refresh the page, okay, you got if you hate software in school, if you hate software in school, that's it. We are actually grabbing that data from uh, the API and displaying it on the page. All right, so this is it for this video, guys. We already cleaned all the errors that we got in there. We already grabbed the, the joke from the API and we display it. Now, the next steps in here for our project is to actually go in here into the top and search for a keyword. And based on this keyword, we will actually grab a joke related to that word. All right, guys, that's it for this video in here. And I'll see you in the next one.